Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Chris. Welcome to another Minecraft video. Alright, we're on 1.7 now, finally. I thought there was supposed to be a adventure mode. I guess that either I'm wrong or that kind of fell through. I don't know, Notch. Uh, what's up, dude? Anyway, um, so the Pistons mod is out, and as you can see, I'm back in the blacksmith area of my armory building thingy majigger. And I haven't been here for a while, but um, I did some simple stuff with the Pistons. Basically, these are at the places where they would meld the metal and uh, behind this block there's lava you know I forget what these are called like this would be the anvil that would be the um shit what's this called whatever the forge yeah the forges or whatever so uh, basically I made it to where they can open and close it at will so you just press a button and um it opens it gives them access so they can like come in they're about to start work come in hit it open the forge up do the thing between the anvil and the heating the metal, blah blah blah. Obviously, this has RP elements that you need to use your imagination, but you guys know that already. And then when you're done for the day, you time out by doing so. <laughs> then you can do this for each one. I was gonna do, I was gonna use some like big red redstone um, contraption, basically like redstone coming out to like a block out here with a button on it. But I realized you could just put it. I mean, it's much easier just to put it on the on the thing itself. And for the painterly, pla uh, painterly pack, rather, I did like the metal sides, the metal front on that, and the gearbox on the back of it. So, anyway, uh, that's basically what I did while I wasn't recording for the last few minutes. And then um, I'm going to go back over to the ship like we've been the whole time, pretty much. I, I need to patch this up, and I guess I'll do it at some point, but I don't really feel like it. This brings to light this camera angle right here brings to light another problem that I've noticed um, Minecraft randomly will like some blocks will randomly disappear from your world like I don't know if it's like save corruption over time or something like that but it's kind of annoying actually it's really not that bad especially when you have too many items to instantly replace it but the problem lies up there in the fact that notch uh, decreased the building height limitations or whatever or increased rather the building height limitations and now I'm not even, let me go check, but I'm not even sure I can actually build there unless he changed that back for 1.7, which I doubt he did. I don't know why he would take it away for one patch or two patches or whatever and then bring it back. Wouldn't make sense to me. But it doesn't really matter, I guess, at this point, because everything is paling in comparison to my, my ship. Like, my interest has been waning from the rest of my world because the ship rules all. Nope. Still can't. Fucking notch. Ooh. What's up with that, man? I don't know the intricacies of it, but I do know that we were able to build at will pretty much before this, and now all of a sudden we can't. Ooh. So that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. That's why I'm glad I brought my ship down a little bit so that these height limitations Ooh. should never be a problem because I don't think it'll ever get near the height of that castle over there. But anyways, let me show you guys some other modifications I made over here uh, quite a few actually so last we left off I had just a shell of an exhaust now I have the whole fucking thing built and I think it's pretty cool basically I went back here and I was gonna just cut a hole in here and provide access to it from from the inside then I realized I do want like I was saying I do want kind of a, a two, two stage type uh, engine basically it'll be the propellers here and stuff like that and then um let me turn my AC off. It's getting cold. But turn the I have the propeller blades here, funneled down into here, and then uh, let me go. Let me just show you. First of all, let me do this. Come on, one more, one more degree of darkness. Clicky, clicky. There we go. Anyway, there we go. All right. So basically, you have this. Let's see if I can get over here without screwing it up. Yep, I get it. So now you have this open section. And I I didn't put a ladder here. I guess I could do that now. Uh, ladders, where are you? Let me cheatingly bring you into the game. So you got a ladder here. You got a doorway here. And this doorway goes to this area. Back into the main hangar bay. And this would be like the access shaft to go to the engines and what I'm gonna do now 
Uh, this could potentially go very, very wrong, but we're going to do it and see what's up. All right. So basically the other half of the engine is going to be like my version of like thrusters, like futuristic warp thrusters and stuff like that. But basically it's just going to be lava because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, lava looks pretty cool. And I can imagine just having a sheet of lava on the end of this thing, glass encased, of course, and then it'll look like uh, the engines are ready to go. And uh, my my theory behind that will be, as soon as they're ready to take off, you would just remove the glass. And um, I'm gonna have like back here, I'm gonna have like control panels or whatever, some sort. I'll figure it out, you know. But that's my idea, so I'm sticking to it for now. We shall see how it looks. If it looks stupid, I might remove it. But by that point, it might be too late. It's gonna be a pain in the ass placing all this lava anyway without dying. I know I'm going to fuck it up at some point and then lose all the items. Because this isn't Terraria. This is Minecraft. For better or worse. I think I just fucked that up. There we go. Ah, uh, that was stupid. Uh, that served no purpose whatsoever. Alright. Trying to concentrate and, like, not screw this. Ah. Uh, that's not what I want either. Basically, oh, that was right. Basically, I want the glass in between and not like covering. I don't know. You'll see it when it's done. But in the meantime, oh shit, there we go again. Now I'm going to fuck up like small parts of this and do some like damage control at the end. It's going to bug my OCD-ness. So after this though, I've got a little bit of free time, so I'm going to go play some fucking Shining Force 3 like a boss after this, like a madman. I've been aching to get more time in that game, but I've been busy with school and work. But I've got like a two-hour chunk of time that I've got nothing but time to dedicate to that game. That's going to be fucking awesome. Very excited. Shining Force is one of, in my personal opinion, one of the best g game series that's ever been made, bar none. That and uh, God Hand might be some of the most underrated games ever. If you guys notice, I put some God Hand videos up, but um, I don't know. I guess interest in the game is just not high enough. Like making the videos wouldn't do any good because nobody would ever watch them. Ever. <laughs> I don't know why, man. You guys are missing out. God Hand is an amazing game. It's hard as shit too. If you're looking for a challenge. Uh, look no further than God Hand Hard Mode. That that tested my patience for real. If games like that are fun to beat, just because um, when you finally do beat, it's like an accomplishment feeling. But when you're trying to do it, that is some frustrating shit. It's fun though. Excuse me. All right, looks like one stack of 111 invented glass will do it. <coughs> Oh, I thought that was going to kill me. Alright, I'm going to double check this to make sure it's not... like What I mean by that is like the glass right here is protruding over the over the metal. I don't, I'm not sure why, but I don't like it. So... And this looks like I did not screw up. Alright, so let's go inside there and start um, figuring out what I'm going to do with this. I have no idea. I know at some point I'm going to end up killing myself though. It's weird, now that I have this big open space down here, I see all these constant graphical glitches, like the world opening up before my eyes, just to close again. It's kind of weird. Don't know if I like it. Alright. This is kind of like the tunnel that would like, you know, all the wind would be funneled into. And then, um... Shit, where am I going? What am I doing? Ah! I'm stupid. Alright, we're gonna go up the, the good old way. The original oh. way. Shit, I didn't even set a timer. I'm gonna have to go check how long this video's been at some point. One Minecraft video at a time for me. Nope. I can just go oh. this way. Ow! God damn it. I keep hurting myself. I gotta get a ladder up here too. 
we're just going to lay down some ladders right here. Why not? When I get to it, at least. And I'm going to come in here and construct proper walkways and stuff like that a little bit later. But uh, one thing at a time, Chris. It's a big enough project as is. All right. Double checking my handiwork. Mm, seems to be in order. All right. So how the fuck am I going to do this? So basically, I want room here to operate, and I got to be able to maneuver, because there's a ladder access system here, but if I try to delete one of these blocks, well, I guess I could delete this, because that doesn't matter. Make it both sides, so it's a little bit symmetrical, so I can have my access way over here, and then um, block it off here, maybe. See if this works. Yeah, it does. So I'm going to start laying down the groundwork in here now. Actually, I suppose I should do bit by bit, like every row, and then go with the lava. Uh oh. See what I mean? This is dangerous business right here. Shift, don't fail me now. If you do, I'm so fucked. Ooh, ooh, oh shit! Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. No! <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, it's obstructed. I just burned it. Because I keep taking it with me. Oh man. I I'll, be I'll, be I'll be back in a second. Alright. I'm back. And did a little bit of damage control. Crisis almost averted. Not quite, but um, it is what it is. Cut my losses. Gotta do this a little bit more methodical. Like, I just realized it's gonna take a while to do too. But I figure I get at least the last little bit on camera for you guys. Uh, oh boy. I'm so nervous. Get in the middle is gonna be a pain in the ass. Cause you gotta put something adjacent to it and then take it away. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. Might have to do this off camera. Cause I'm gonna get so fucking frustrated. Whoop, that's not a pick. All my shit got fucked up. My inventory. Alright. <laughs> oh boy. How am I going to do this? First of all, it's, um, I'm just going to get this whole inner thing done. Yeah, I'm going to cut it back in um, in a second. I'm going to work on this inner thing. And then, shit, it's going to be a pain in the ass. What am I doing this for? I'm so confused. Alright. My brain is all scrambled right now. I wasn't expecting... Where the hell did all that obsidian come from? Whatever. Yeah, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to fill all this in. Because I want to get this all done in the same video. So I'm going to fill all this in and then um, give you guys a look from the outside before the end of the video. So I'll be right back. Ain't it pretty? Took a little bit of work. Trust me, there was a, a whole bunch of more fail to see. But I got it done. And I think it looks pretty damn cool. I could just imagine this over here. Uh, another one over there. And then smaller circles in between here, like distributed with... Uh, the glowy fire, fiery goodness that is lava. But anyways, this video is coming to a close. I don't want it to go past 15 minutes, so I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys. If you get other ideas, I'm more than more than happy to receive them. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.